Imagine you're on your way to create a beautiful PowerPoint presentation and then you come across the idea of labels. How do you make these labels, these counters appear in all your five question slides? So this is what we will be tackling today in this video. So what we do is we utilize Slide Master. Whatever we add here, whatever changes we make in this slide, for example, I am drawing a rectangle here. And if I go back to my normal view, go to Slide Master, click Close Master View. This will appear in all the five slides, in all the slides which you create. So you can check out my previous tutorials on how I have created these counters and the coding required. So just select your counters here. Use Ctrl X on your keyboard or just right click and choose Cut. Go to your view and click on Slide Master. So you can first delete this. So right click here and choose Insert Layout. Now select whatever is here and delete it. Now paste this here. Perfect. Now select this, go to Shift Format and select selection pane so in the selection pane you can find the name this is label 1 label 2 and label 3 now this is one of our triangle which I created you can just go to insert shapes and choose one more triangle and place it over here perfect now you can rotate it and flip vertically now just copy this Control C and Control V on your keyboard I'll just select this and change the properties and align this text in the center. I'll do this for all the three labels. Let me just align the text to center in all these three labels. Perfect. Now it's time to write our code. So double click any one of these and you get slide layout 13. This number might be different for you, but let's just start writing the code. So sub label one plus one. So label one dot caption. So like I've shown in my earlier tutorial, just use the same codes label one dot caption equal label one dot caption plus one. Now we will copy paste this and instead of plus one, we make this minus one and change the symbol here. Perfect. Now just copy this and paste it one more time. Now instead of label one, we'll be having label two. So just change the stuff accordingly. Now similarly, just copy paste it one more time and instead of label 2, we will be having label 3. Perfect. So this is our coding. You can get this from my website in the description down below. Now you can close this. Now select these triangles and go to insert, click on action and this will run the macro label 1 plus 1. Okay. Now the bottom one, that will run the macro label 1 minus 1. For label 2, this will run the macro label 2 plus 1 and this will run the macro label 2 minus 1. So similarly, this will run the macro label 3 plus 1 and you get the gist. Perfect. Now all you have to do is go back to your slide master and click close master view. Now select all these slides. Now press shift on your keyboard and now select this. So now all the five slides are selected. Now right click any one of those, go to layout and choose your custom layout which we just created. Perfect. So now let me go to slideshow mood. I'll click here. Now imagine you want to increase for the first counter. You've increased it. Now you're in your second slide. You want to decrease this. You have decreased it. You're in your third slide. You want to increase this. In the end, when you're saving your PowerPoint presentation, remember that you're saving it as PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. This is very important or all your macros will get deleted. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any doubts, please leave them in the comment below. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. All these are available for free in my website www.pptvba.com. Thank you very much.